everyone. Today we are going to review the Almay Healthy Glow Makeup Plus Gradual Self Tanner Foundation. I don't think I've ever seen a foundation that has a gradual self tanner in it. There may be one, but I've never used it or even seen it, to be honest. And Almay is not even a brand I usually wear, but I did do a foundation test a while ago on one of their foundations, and I love it, and I actually still wear it, so... I thought this looked super interesting and I decided to give it a shot and see if it actually does self tan and if it does self tan is your face going to all of a sudden get a lot tanner than the rest of your body or is it like just a slight thing so I thought we would test it out. Okay so this foundation retails for $14.99. I found mine at Walgreens. It does have SPF 20 in it, hi, which I love. Um, the only downfall that I kind of found was it only has three colors, light, light, medium, and medium. That's it, just three colors. So I don't even know if this is going to match. I think, I, oh, I got light, medium, so I decided to just go for the middle and we'll see. Um, it's a med it says it's a medium coverage and a luminous finish and all day wear. So we're going to be testing out all of those things. This video is going to be a review, like where I'm going to do my normal foundation video, like where I wear it and you guys see, and then I'm on top of it, I'm gonna do a before, and it says, it says that it takes three days before the, um, let me see what it says, to be exact. Oh, product details. Allow three days of a consecutive use to begin seeing lasting results. So I'm gonna give this product three days, I'm gonna wear it three days straight, and I'm gonna take a before, I already took a before picture with no makeup on, and then I'm gonna take an after picture, and we'll all put it side by side at the end of the video so you can see if it actually does gradually self tan. Now, it's got, I don't know if you guys can see through it, it looks like there's a vial right here and a vial right here. What the website says is to actually tap the bottle on a hard surface and press the pump several, times before starting to use the product. Press the center of the pump to dispense product equally. Mix two formulas thoroughly together so that it is completely blended. Okay, so I'm gonna tap it on a hard surface. I don't know if I tap the, tap the bottle on a hard surface. Is that good? And press the pump evenly in the middle a few times to just, but only one came out. Weird thing is, only one little side is dispensing product. Oh, there we go. Okay. So that sucks because look how much I just wasted. I believe that's the self tanner side before the foundation even came out. That's how much I had to pump out of the tanner, which is kind of annoying. You kind of have to mix it, which is also a tad annoying because I usually just dip my beauty blender in it. Um, I guess I'll just take a... The end of a and mix it together. Ooh, that was a lot of foundation. Okay, one pump will be fine. Don't get crazy and do two like I did. Okay, once it's all mixed, see this part's kind of annoying. It's already kind of a hassle. So one, you have to make sure that both the sides are pumping out product because at the beginning it was just a self tanner, and I'm assuming you don't want more self tanner than foundation because that would be weird. All right. And then the second thing I already don't like is that you have to mix it, which is kind of annoying. I think it's the right color right now, only because I went to Mexico and I'm a little tanner than I usually am. I might probably, if I wear it all the time, want to go with light. It just has a nice, um, it says no odor on the bottle, but... It has a slight odor, but nothing bad. It's just like a nice, light, airy foundation. Not foundation, lotion smell. But it does not smell like self-tanner, so that's a good thing. It feels very moisturizing. Like it almost feels like a lotion. Very easily blendable as well. All right, it does seem like it is oxidizing just a smidge. All right, so I have quite a bit left over. I think I might make sure it's blended down my neck because it is actually a little bit too dark for me, just a tad. 
So if I like this foundation, I might go hunt down the light. All right, it says medium coverage. It does seem like it's medium coverage, but you can kind of see I have like a blemish right here that it's not covering. Let me see if I can just build it up a little bit in that area. It does build very nicely, so I almost think you could add a second layer and maybe get it up to full coverage. <laughs> you made a fort in my pillows. So it actually applied really nice. I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you guys can see it up close. Here it is up close. I feel like it does have a slight luminous finish, not overboard like the other Almay foundation was very luminous. This one's actually really nice. Just the perfect amount. You can still kind of see my blemish right there. It's kind of poking through. So this isn't full, full coverage, but I still think it looks really nice. I am gonna go now apply the rest of my makeup and come back and we will see if it did okay. Okay, I am back with a fully applied face. And I have to say so far, I love this foundation. It has the most beautiful natural finish. It is not too luminous, it is not too matte. It's literally just beautiful. I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see how everything applied on top. And the only thing I set was a little bit under my eyes and in my right in between my eyebrows. And that's it, that's all I set. Here it is. I, it's so pretty. I love this foundation. So far, I am seriously in love. I really hope it holds up throughout the day. I really hope it does because I love everything. It's so lightweight. I can't feel it. It feels good. It almost feels moisturizing, which I love because I have dry skin. Just the finish of it. It looks so natural. I love it. So we will, I guess, see. I will check in throughout the day to see if the foundation held up, if it broke up at all, if it, you know, got too oil or clings to dry spots, we will find out. I am crossing my fingers that it works because I love the finish of it right now. So I will see you guys in a little bit. All right, so it is now 7.37. So I've had the foundation on for eight whole hours. And um, I have to say it is very, very dewy. Like I am almost oily. I asked my husband what he thought and he said, oh, you can kind of see your pores and I'm assuming it's because it's oily and he's not used to seeing me oily. Or I think I'm going to add some powder to my face after I do a close-up. Here's a close-up. You can see how dewy I am. And yes, I got a new puppy. Someone asked in my last video if that was my dog sitting behind me and it is. He's a little puppy and he is super needy and he always has to be right next to me so there he is hi koa i blotted with powder does it look different yeah does it look better it's better it's good i was wondering if it was because i don't usually wear like oily luminous foundations because i have dry mm -hmm. skin and this one's really oily and luminous is it so it does look better because i put mattifying powder on it to get rid of the oiliness no, that looks really good, actually. What? Come here! What are you doing? I'm putting you on my video because you're so handsome. Cole, I think I'm tan. <laughs> you suck. I'm like, I'm so tan, I just got back from Mexico. And then you put me next to you and I'm like, as you didn't white try. as Casper. You didn't try to tan, though. So, my husband did say that he likes it better now and that it just looked a little weird. And it's because he's not used to seeing me luminous because I have super dry skin. So, I'm going to have to say that if you're oily, this might not be the foundation for you if you are heavily oily because I usually do not ever put on powder throughout the day. I'll go the whole day and be perfectly fine. If I do, it's like barely right here, right here. That's like in the summertime, but it is winter. I live in Utah, which is the desert, and it is drier than dry right now. So the fact that I got luminous or a little dewy with this foundation means, sorry to my oily girls out there, this might not be the foundation for you. 
So for my dry face friends out there, this is a great foundation and I suggest you check it out. Yeah, and I will put a picture before and after at the end of this video showing three days before, three days after, and if it's self-tanned. I'm gonna go ahead and say that I would actually continue using this foundation um, regardless of whether it self tans or not. Now if it does self tan, that's a bonus because I always put self tanner from here down when I am putting on self tanner. I'll do it from here down because I just don't like it on my face. I don't know why. So if I can get it in the foundation, that will be a bonus. That is my thoughts on this foundation and stay tuned for the before and after picture. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.